Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I'll be discussing about molarity. Now, what is molarity? Molarity is simply a concentration unit. Okay? Now, molarity is temperature dependent. Now, what do I mean by that? It means that temperature affects the changes in the volume in which the solute is being dissolved. Now, molarity is simply concentration. Before I talk about molarity, let me quickly bring our mind back to what we call the mole concept. Now, if you could remember, from the mole concept, okay, from the mole concept, numbers of mole is mass over molar mass. Numbers of mole is mass over molar mass. Now, same numbers of mole is given to the concentration times volume. Precisely, volume in dm cube. Okay? Now, what we we'll do now is this. Since numbers of mole is equal to mass over molar mass, and numbers of mole is same as C times V, that's concentration times volume, what's going to happen now is this. Concentration will be made subject of formula, making us get a formula to be mass okay over molar mass times volume okay now this is concentration and recall I said molarity is said as concentration now what is molarity molarity is simply numbers of mole of solute okay over liters of solution now molarity Molarity is same as concentration, okay? And molarity is number of moles, okay, of solute over liters of solution. That is volume of solution in liters or DMQ. Now, working with this formula, we can get same equation that is we can get the same formula when we break this formula down now what's going to happen is this you, you, if you could remember number of mole of solute okay is same as number of mole which is still given to be mass over molar mass okay so what will happen here mass over molar mass will put it here so molarity becomes something like this molarity is equal to mass over molar mass dividing liters of solution so liters of solution will just be changed to volume okay dividing volume now simplify this formula we get mass over molar mass dividing volume over one okay changing here to the times that's multiplication we get something to be mass over molar mass times 1 over volume okay now you can see molarity is mass over molar mass times volume so you can see that the formula for molarity and the formula for concentration from the mole concept are the same so we cannot conclude that molarity and concentration are the same whether they have their SI units to be the SI unit for molarity, okay, which is same as concentration, is mole per dm cube, or we say it is mole per liters, or if we don't say that, we just say big M, which is same as molar, okay. So this is the SI unit of what now molarity. Now let's talk about questions. Now let's answer questions. On the concept of molarity to get the understanding better now let's quickly talk about this question okay this is the question I'll be solving to explain the concept of molarity meanwhile I'll talk about more questions as we proceed now you can see the question says calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 11.5 grams of sodium hydroxide in enough water to make 1.50 liters of solution you know 1.50 liters is the volume of the solution 
and later is same as dm cube. Now let's talk about this question. Solution. Now if you could recall the formula, I said molarity molarity is equal to mass okay over molar mass times volume okay mass over molar mass times volume meanwhile in this context the volume is in dm cube or liters but if the volume was in cm cube or milliliters our formula will be we just add 1000 to the formula meanwhile it becomes molarity becomes when we have volume in cm cube or milliliters rather it becomes mass times 1000 over molar mass okay times volume Okay, whenever our volume is in cm cube or milliliters. Now, but you can see the volume here is in liters or dm cube. So we use this formula. Meanwhile, we we'll just compute parameters. Now, what is the mass given in the question? The mass was given to be 11.5 grams, and the compound was sodium hydroxide. So we can get molar mass from there. Okay, it is sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, atomic mass of sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1. So we get 40 grams per mole as the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Meanwhile, the volume is given to be 1.50 liters. And I told you earlier on, liters is same as dm cube. So when we infuse our parameters into the formula, we get this. The mass is given to be 11.5 grams over molar mass, 40 grams per mole, times the volume, which is given to be 1.50 liters. So when we press our calculator, we get our molarity to be 0 0.192 molar or mole per liters okay now you can see that's how to solve questions pertaining to molarity meanwhile we solve others now okay to understand the concept better now let's quickly talk about this question written on the board which is question two they said what mass of hno3 that is aqua forties or trioxo nitric five acid or we call it nitric acid is contained in 250 milliliters of 0.2 molar hno3 solution now you can see now the volume is not in liters but rather in milliliters now if you could recall the formulas i wrote before i said molarity okay is given to be mass times 1000 over molar mass times volume in milliliters or cm cube because you can see the volume is in milliliters not in liters now it is in that's why I added 1000 to the formula. Meanwhile, the concentration, which is same as molarity, is given to be 0 0.2 molar. Now you can see now they are asking us to get mass, not molarity. So we simply bring out our parameters. Meanwhile, volume in milliliters was given to be 250 milliliters. Okay, the molarity. The molarity is given to be 0.2 molar and the molar mass of the compound the molar mass of the compound the compound is HNO3 now what is the atomic mass of hydrogen 1 nitrogen 14 oxygen 16 times 3 or pressure of capital get 63 grams per mole now 
what we do next is to simply make mass subject of formula. So let's make mass subject of formula. Making mass subject of formula, we get molarity, okay, times molar mass, times molar mass, times the volume in milliliters or cm cube, okay, over 1000. Now, the question is asking us to get mass. So, what will be the mass? Let's increase our parameters whether the molarity is given to be 0 0.2 molar, okay, times molar mass of the compound 63 grams per mole times volume 250 milliliters, okay, dividing 1000, we get 3.15 grams of HNO3. Now you can see this is how to get the mass of HNO3 that is contained in 250 ml of 0.2 over DMP which same as small HNO3 solution. So this is the mass. Now let's quickly go over to another question. Okay now let's solve this question. It says how many moles of sodium ion are present in 20 cm cube of 0.5 molar sodium chloride, sodium chloride solution. Now, this question is actually very, very easy. Meanwhile, what we'll do first is to bring out the compound out, which is called sodium chloride. Okay, we simply dissociate it. We dissociate this compound, we get Na plus plus Cl minus. Meanwhile, the question says how many moles of sodium ion? So they are asking for the mole of what now? Sodium ion. Meanwhile, they're giving us parameters to get the number of moles of the overall compound. Now, if you recall, recall I said earlier that numbers of moles when you are given concentration and volume is simply C times V. But now the volume is in cm cube. Okay, and I told you earlier on that cm cube is the same as milliliters. So we simply add 1000 to the formula. Okay, because number of mole is going to C times V over 1000. Okay, converting volume from cm cube or milliliters to liters. Because the S value for this molarity of concentration here is a mole per liters. Okay. Now, what's, it, what's going to happen is to just get the number of moles. Meanwhile, the concentration is given to be 0.50 molar and the volume is given to be 20 centimeter cube. So, what we have for the concentration is 0.50 times the volume, which is given to be 20 over 1000. So, number of moles of the compound, which is NaCl, becomes 0.01 moles. So, simply this, you know, the question they are asking us number of moles of sodium ion, but they gave us parameters for the compound, so it means we are interested with just these two substances, okay, without using this chlorine here. So, we just bring them down, we'll say sodium chloride to give us Na plus, so it becomes one mole. How? From this stoichiometric balance now, you can see the equation is balanced. Meanwhile, this is one and this is also one. One mole of sodium chloride is going to give us one mole of sodium ion. Meanwhile, the mole we've gotten, which is 0.01 mole, will simply give us X mole of what? Na plus. So, making X mole of Na plus subject, it becomes 1 times 0.01 over 1. Is simply 0.01 moles of Na plus. So this is the number of moles of Na plus, and this is how to solve the question. I believe now we all understand the concept of molarity. Meanwhile, if you could recall, I said molarity is temperature dependent. It means that temperature affects the changes in the volume. Okay, of the solute being dissolved, and molarity is same as concentration. The SI unit for molarity is simply mole per dm cube 
or you say more per liters or molar okay now i believe now we all understand the concept about molarity thanks for watching